Welcome to AM Junkies Tech Support Videos. I'm Militia. I'm here to help the staff as well as uh, our customers out today uh, with a little few little issues that um, are, are very easy fixes. Um, and I hope everybody enjoys these videos. Okay, the uh, first thing we want to do is, uh, of course, uh, when you when you get your subscription uh, to our forum access. You will uh, see on your right hand side here that you're going to click on the Junkie Injector. I want everybody to download the 32 bit as well as I have. I'm not going to download it, I've downloaded it like 10 times already. <laughs> and uh, DirectX, and then click download. And we're going to cancel those both. Alright, another thing you're going to need is the hack loader. I've already saved those too. So you're good. I got everything you need. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to uh, install our uh, DirectX. Click Accept. Click Next. Make sure you unclick this little hidden crap that they try to do. This little Bing bar, and then click Install. It's finished so I already have it installed just make sure you even if you have it installed it's just very easy to do that and uh, saves a lot of time on, on your part and as well as ours um, the next is the uh, uh, C++ 2010 um, I'm just gonna go ahead and repair mine because I already have it installed um, the reason why I use 32-bit is because the games uh, are for 32-bit um, even if you have a 64-bit system, you want to run the 32-bit C++ 2010 along with the 64-bit. Um, you should already have the 64-bit installed if you're running 64-bit. So we go ahead and install the 32-bit, uh, finish it. Okay, and then we close that. All right. What I see a lot of the times is people, just the best thing is to make a folder uh, to put your, uh, your hacks in because uh, you have multiple uh, configuration files and say a loader update comes up and you have configuration files all over your computer um, you're pretty much gonna need a lot of help and you're never gonna be able to get the hack running because it's gonna be looking for one configuration file and then the other one and it's gonna be confused um, so after we do that uh, take the uh, aim junkies loader and extract it into there Okay, once that's finished, oops, <clears throat> once that's finished, right click, rename the loader to whatever you want. I wouldn't suggest naming it that, but just whatever you want to name it. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to run it. And you use your username and uh, form password. And uh, one second, here we go. I the password and click save login. Okay, and we're going to click login. And everybody has seen this lovely server connect failed. It's a pretty easy fix. I will let you guys know ahead of time. My fix is I didn't have any issues, so I had to create an issue. I had to take my clock on my computer and I had to set it a day ahead. Actually, it's the 14th. It's not the 15th. So I'm going to leave it like that. This is the steps that you should do. First is first, Windows Update. Oops. Okay, and we're going to check for updates. Now, if you are using a non-genuine product, that is your own issue we will definitely return your money to you um, but uh, we do not support that so I suggest um, you know you can get it fixed if you get a fix come back we'll help you any day no problem um, so I check for updates there's no updates uh, I didn't mean to hit that again actually and then um, okay so then if that means there's no updates one thing I do check is I uh, check to make sure yep I'm service pack one I'm all good no problem Okay, so I open up Internet Explorer. I know we all hit Internet Explorer, um, but we need to use this. So first thing to check is to make sure that it is uh, Internet Explorer 9, which mine is, of course. And then click OK. 
Now, if your clock is correct and everything else is correct with the server connect failure, it's usually in internet options and then you go to advanced, drop down the advanced tab to where you find security. Now, personally, I have never had this um, issue. Uh, many people have. Um, if the certificate server, um, ref uh, I'm sorry, the server certificate revocation is checked, uncheck that, click apply, and then click OK, and try to run your loader. Okay, that's usually the fix for it. Uh, as I had stated, my fix for it is I manipulated my computer to run a server connect failed. So if I go ahead and I change the day back to the 14th and try to log in it logs in no problem and now you only see your supported product of course so um, so that's server um, connection error um, in a nutshell for you guys uh, thank you very much look forward to my next video peace